questions for oral answer. Question number one, in the name of Andrew Little. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. And asks, does he stand by his statement in relation to the comparative rise in house prices and student loans that, quotes, I don't know, but I suspect it's a terrible amount, end quote. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes, in the context it was made. <laughs> Supplementary. Oh, was a joke. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Is he aware that both student loans and house prices have risen faster than the wages of young people? Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Mr. Minister. Speaker, well, uh, they certainly did under a Labor government when house prices doubled, but under National, the medium house price has risen 33 per cent in uh, a bit over seven years, and the average wage has risen 30.5 per cent, so they're pretty much the same. Oh, sorry, point of order. Uh, order. Point of order, Andrew Little. I seek leave to table uh, official statistics showing that student loans have risen by 26 per cent, house prices 36 per cent. Order. I just want to check, is the member simply seeking to, dis, uh, to table figures that are published on a regular basis by Statistics New Zealand? Well, they are, there's a number of sources, uh, Mr Speaker. The Student Loan Annual Report, the Real Estate Institute of New Zealand and Statistics New Zealand. Order. I think it's a very marginal call, but I will put the leave in the House can determine. Leave us sought to table those particular figures. Is there any objection? There is objection. Don't Supplementary like question, Supplementary. Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Order. Andrew In light Little. of the Prime Minister's previous answer, how are young people meant to save for a deposit when student debt is rising faster than their wages? Uh, the Mr. Right Honourable Prime I'm Minister. I'm glad the member asked that question because under National's KiwiSaver Home Start program, actually, they can get nearly $50,000 actually uh, under the National program. And that has been tremendously popular. The other thing, Mr. Speaker, that's worth noting is that if one looks in the seven and a bit years that National has been in government, Average medium house prices have risen 33 per cent as compared to under a Labor government, the last one, where those prices nearly doubled. That's right. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Is it acceptable to him that since National introduced the student loan scheme, the home ownership rate for adults under 40 has gone from over 50 per cent to now just one in four? Uh, the right Mr. Speaker, Prime Minister. those statistics have been there for quite some time. What we do know about student loans is they allow people to access tertiary qualifications that allow them to earn a great deal more. And from what I can see from Labor's trumped-up policy they announced on a Sunday afternoon that's getting no traction, so they keep coming to the House, as opposed to TPP, apparently, which was the big issue, you're not looking at getting really student loans. And by the way, if you're laughing, go and have a look at the column inches and see how many you got. Zero. <laughs> Supplementary. What an arrogant Prime Minister. What a Order. Arrogant. Order. A little less interjection from both sides of the House. Andrew Little, supplementary question. Given, given, <laughs> given that he is now such a fan of Labor's student, interest free student loan policy, can he, name, can he name a former finance spokesperson who in this House once described it as expensive and irresponsible? And I'll give yeah. him a clue. The initials are JK. Uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, that may prove to have been correct, actually. It is an expensive uh, policy. Uh, and that's the point, isn't it? That actually in New Zealand, we are the only country in the world that has zero percent loans for people studying for tertiary qualifications. And, Mr. Speaker, about 70 to 80 percent of what is currently subsidised is paid for by the taxpayers. I personally think that setting's in or out about the right place. That's got a big H in front of it. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Does he see any link whatsoever between the $15 billion of study debt young people now owe and the fact that three quarters of them now cannot afford to buy their own home? Is there any link at all? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'd have to see where those dodgy stats come from. <laughs> Supplementary. Sup Supplementary. Order. A little less interjection, please. Andrew Little. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Does he agree that falling home ownership is even a problem? 
and why won't he follow Labor's lead and have an affordable housing program and make it easier for young people to save for a deposit by removing student debt? Well, yeah, right, order. Well, Mr. Speaker, there's been a, right on, Mr. Mr. Speaker, there's been a worldwide trend in reduction of home ownership rates, and they've been happening in New Zealand over the course of the last 30 or 40 years. But that's why, under a national-led government, we have KiwiSaver Home Start program, and why it's so popular. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Andrew Little. Why is his government's policy to settle young people with debt, knowing that it takes years to pay it off and it affects their ability to start a family, buy their own home and to live the Kiwi dream? Oh, right honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, um, under Labor's policy, from what I can see, students will still have debt. In fact, actually, some students, if they live away from home, even if they're going to a, a course that has no uh, fees charged for it, will still have debt that's incurred for an asset they won't even have because it will be some part-time course they haven't completed. Mr Speaker, in the end, actually, the system's working pretty well. Well, I'll tell you what we're doing about it. Wages are going up faster than inflation. The unemployment rate's falling. The economy's rising as, as uh, up the OECD. The country's getting order. better connected order. with the rest of the world. Order, order. The question is, and the answer's now too long, I admit, I do acknowledge responding to an interjection. Question number two, David Bennett.